Let's see. I finished my one thingamajig at like 2.30, and now it is 10 o'clock. So, eight hours. Wow, that might be like the longest I've ever done in one day. Eight hours of procrastination. And ultimately, the only reason why I didn't, I actually decided to do the assignment at all was because my grades are comp almost entirely dependent on this, on doing this. If I don't do this, my, there's no way I'm getting an A. <clears throat> well, I don't know. It's only worth ten points. No, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, there's two assignments, one of which is worth twenty-five points. But I have an extra day, and I don't know how many points she'll take off if I do it a day late, but the first time she took off one point, the second time, wait a minute, I turned in three, three of them late. How is that even possible? What? Oh yeah, that's right. Be okay. Yeah, I turned in three of them late. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, literally, I turned in three of them late. Like, look at this. Three of my business communication assignments were turned in late. They were all they were, they were discussion posts, obviously. I have assi two assignments that are due, and there's no way I can skip doing these assignments. Also, hello, Chris. Uh, what am I doing? The first one was late, and I lost only one point. The second one was late, I lost a bunch of points. And the third one was on time. The fourth one was late, and I lost five points. The fourth one is due tonight. No, the fifth one was actually due last week, and I didn't even turn it in at all. But I actually have two discussion posts because I have one for human resource. Oh, and for human resource management, we've only had two discussion posts. The first one I didn't do at all. And this is the second one. I'm going to actually do it. Wow. It's only worth 10 points, though. It's not even that many points. Also, I have a cough. I randomly got a cough now. Oh no. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. I thought I wasn't allowed to see the replies. What does this thing do? I just scrolled down and it's, it's showing all the all the posts that people did already. What? I thought I wasn't allowed to. Wait, when does it do? You got your COVID vaccine? Oh, nice. I didn't know just anybody could get. Well, I don't think anybody can still. It's, it's just like select places still, right? I'm. Would I get it? I mean, I should get it. It's kind of the responsible thing to do to get the vaccine. Uh, I don't know if we have it here yet. I haven't really heard anything about it. But I don't get out much, so maybe it, maybe it is here already. Nobody told me. <coughs> Says it's due in a little uh, hour and a half. So yeah, I mean. It's not late, technically, right now. I can still do it. I don't know if I like doing this, but... Jeez, got first. Um, I mean... And... I get the COVID... <laughs> oh, alright. Uh, see you later.
Yeah, you believe it. Wait, what? I can't. Wait, no. What? Who can get vaccinated now? Illinois. I'm getting. I'm getting distracted again. God, stop answering my question. <coughs> I'm gonna cough so many times. I actually have a real cough now. What? No. Ah. Uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do any of this. You have to state your opinion on issues, on political issues. These are basically political issues here that we're talking that we're talking about. Wait, I thought. Why is everyone talking about marijuana? That's only one of them. Here we go. Employee use of social media. I think, why is everyone talking about marijuana? Okay. Marijuana. Again. Marijuana again. What? Why? There's only like two subjects people are talking about. Marijuana again. Employee use of social media, again. Marijuana in the workplace. Marijuana in the workplace. Marijuana again. Paid leave and parental leave law. Marijuana. Medicare for all. Here we go. Finally, something else. Benefits of Medicare for all. Okay, I was just worried that, like, there was something I was missing in the directions. Um, marijuana, equal pay. Oh, wait, I keep only reading the first one, because we're supposed to do two. I, I have this very, very strong urge to not do this. And then I have a very, very strong voice in my head saying, no, you have to, because otherwise your grade is gonna, you're not gonna get an A in the class, basically. I don't think I can get an A without doing this assignment. I haven't done the math, but, Affordable Care Act, social media, marijuana, equal pay, marijuana, paid leave. I feel like there's stuff that wasn't mentioned. We have Affordable Care Act, wage and hour law, health care law. Affordable Care Act, employee use of social media, independent contractors, marijuana and workplace, paid leave and parental leave law, and equal pay. <coughs> <coughs> Legislation. I'm gonna laugh every time I cough now. What is happening? What is happening to me that every time I cough, I, I think I just laugh. Oh my gosh. I just laugh at the most inappropriate times. I just hate it so much. Wonderful. Music's too loud. I should just... I don't feel like talking about my stinking opinions. Nobody posted something short. Nobody posted a short post. So that it feels better that I'm gonna post a post that has like two sentences. Yep, that's like two paragraphs. Uh, that's two paragraphs. People have all kinds of opinions on stuff. I have opinions, but I don't have arguments or explanations of my opinions. Well, I do, but I just don't feel like typing them, I guess. That's, that's the thing. Um, marijuana. 
share your inference. What's an inference, anyways? What kind of a statement is that? I mean, yeah. Medicare But I don't have any arguments for it. I mean, I guess, whatever. I guess my argument is that many other developed nations have made, have universal healthcare. But that's it. Like, what am I supposed to write three sentences about? I think we should have. I think the Affordable Care Act was a step in the right direction, but Medicare for all is the end goal. Ah, I just don't feel like talking about political stuff. Why? Because I don't, I'm not informed about any of these issues. Why are we having discussions about issues that we know nothing about? Or maybe I'm supposed to know all about these things because I was supposed to have read the, the textbook, but I didn't. Let's do the other assignment instead. <coughs> I thought this one would be easier. But nope, I guess not. Well, if I have COVID, let's see, what did I do? Did I, did I go out in public at all? Well, I go to work. I cleaned a store. I literally clean a store. So the entire store might be infected now. Or I might not have COVID. You know, never know. There's like, there's only like a 30% chance I have COVID anyways, because there's like, it could also be a random other cold type of virus that's not even COVID. No, it's, there's probably only like a 10 or 5% chance I have COVID actually, when I think about it. Where would I have even got it anyway? I mean, I guess I'm around people. I mean, I work like a, one friend of mine. She works in like hotels and uh, a restaurant. Or no, she yeah. I guess I'm I live and am around people who are around other people. So technically, there's that. But that would have to mean she also has COVID. So I don't think she has COVID. So no, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I get annoyed by? Every time people say, oh my gosh, what a terrible year. Actually, that was in 2020. Now we're in 2021. Nobody can say that anymore. But still, I just, it was so annoying every time people are like, oh man, what a year this is. This is such a terrible year. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess... You're acting like there's like five different terrible things happening. No, it's just one. Unless I guess you could consider the economic depression to be terrible. A terrible thing. I don't really know much about the state of the economy. I just listen to political commentators who have their opinions, but they don't really have data. They don't talk about data on the economy. And if they do talk about it, it's only the data points that they that agree with that their, uh, their worldview. What is the state of the economy? Real seriously, I don't know. I'm not affected by it that much. I'm just one person. I don't know. You can't tell the state of the economy just from your own personal experiences. My personal experience with it, well, if you're speaking literally, I wasn't fired from my job. I actually got extra work because I because I clean a store, so I actually got more work. But then I think my dad said he got a pay, he, his pay was reduced or something. I don't know. And my set mom, I don't know if she lost her job because of COVID or because she voluntarily stopped because she was pregnant. I can't, I don't know. But I think she may have actually, yeah, I think it was because of COVID though, but she could have gotten, gone back to it, but still that's not that good. 
and my uh, mom was fine because she works at Walmart. And my sister was fine; she works at Walmart. <laughs> I like this song. Let's go back to the beginning. Voice crack. Uh, we had a presentation today. I, my voice cracked on the very last word of my speech. It was epic. And then I had to say the word again, so it was an awkward ending on a voice crack. My, oh my god. <laughs> so terrible. I changed my mind. I actually want to do the other assignment because I want to keep listening to this music. I don't want to watch a video. <laughs> I have to reply to two people. I could do that. That's like that's like half of my grade right there. Sure. I can't read. Have I lost my sense of taste? Well, technically, you don't have to lose those symptoms, but if you've lost those symptoms as well, then it's almost certain you have it. Have COVID. I mean, what other disease do you lose those speci three specific symptoms? I don't think drinking water would help me to see if I lost my sense of taste. If I ate food. But I was eating food earlier and I didn't have, lose a sense of taste, or maybe it's a sense of smell that you're supposed to lose. Well, I don't have a sense of smell anyway, so what difference is it? No, that's not really true. I've been watching too much of that one comedian. And now I'm starting to to like actually talk like him like what the heck is going on right now what
I have opinions on issues that are not based on facts whatsoever. They're based on listening to political commentation. Comment. Commentary. That's that's the word I'm looking for. You may tell. You may be able to tell. <laughs> you know, listening to based on. What? No, you can't. The health care law dash the Affordable Care Act is important. Huh. <laughs> well, she says having health care is should be a right in our British language. Well, hopefully take that to its logical conclusion. Okay, stop. Um, <laughs> yep. Stupid opinions and stupid political issues I don't even care about. <laughs> I don't care about political issues. I do care about political issues. I'm just lazy. I don't have anything to say to these people. You're just forcing people to, to write about stuff that they don't know anything about. Nobody knows about anything. Nobody... The vast majority, 99.999% of the population, doesn't know enough about any one particular political issue to have a valid opinion on it. We should just... But even the experts disagree because they have different political opinions and they only... And they'll just find evidence that supports their opinion. So, can we trust anybody? It's political opinion? No, we can't. This person's looking into uh, equal pay. Wait, equal pay? Uh, pay discrimination. It's bad. Good. Uh, good opinion. Bad discrimination is bad. Equal pay. Okay. Well, yeah, that person's against the individual mandate. Well, it's kind of dumb. The whole system is dumb. Like, ba basically, you're forced to to participate in an unjust system to begin with. Like, we're forcing you to. Like, the individual mandate is... It's kind of necessary for the law, which overall, as a whole, is good. But... The one aspect of it is just it by it's all by itself is bad, and it's within a larger problem that's not fixed yet. <laughs> um. <laughs> Diversi diversity is good. Oh look, it's. Oh wait, this is Patrick. Nice. I just realized. <laughs> I 
make this long. Dylan. And then marijuana. There should be no marijuana on the workplace. In the workplace, employee use of social media. Well, sitting on the fence is awesome. I'm sorry to reduce your entire opinion down to sitting on the fence, but I just don't have time to really read it. Turn on to a leave and paid leave is good. Um, Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic to people who say it shouldn't be in the workplace. Um, business immigration and visa holders in the workplace is not a bad thing. Um, wage now, I don't think there, there should be a federal minimum wage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, actually, never mind. If you read one sentence further, you see his opinion is actually not that bad. I believe each state should access their own, I think he meant assess, their own situation and determine what the best minimum wage should be. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. For a second, I was like, oh no, no minimum wage. No marijuana in the workplace. Um. Uh, uh, Marijuana. Parental leave law is a great idea. Okay. Employees of social media is okay within reason. Pay or paid leave and parental law. Leave law should be standard. Good. With regard to marijuana. Should be it should not be allowed. Most people say it shouldn't be allowed. Um Perry leave, I think there should be paid leave. Now. Yes, good. I think this should really should. Another employment is to review companies. Yeah. Social media. Marijuana. Not. Um, for legalization and for recreation use. Then. There are a couple issues are not that big don't know much about it, don't. I don't have an opinion on it. Oh, um, it should be legal to a certain extent. Nice. It should be well sometimes I kind of disagree I mean I don't know about I don't much know much about marijuana I mean for some jobs maybe it's not good but for others I don't know I don't really know exactly what it does to you but it kind of depends like obviously alcohol or alcohol is kind of an impairment for most jobs um, but marijuana mm -hmm. I'm cold. Is my cough still here? Or was it just nothing? I mean, even a tiny cough could be COVID. Even no symptoms could be COVID. Technically. Where's my jacket? What did I do with my jacket? What? You've got to be joking. Did I leave it upstairs? Come on, cold. Well, I feel like I'm going to be too hot if I put on this coat. All I've been doing has been reading the people's posts. I haven't been actually posting anything or writing post yet. I'm trying to think of stuff here. There's a gray area with that. Okay.
Okay, man, why the work play? Okay, here's... I have an opinion on marijuana. Whoa, I just came up with something. I think I came up with an opinion on marijuana in the workplace. Okay. Uh, should be able to... Decide whether their marijuana is allowed in their workplaces. This isn't completely. That's my opinion, dude. That's my opinion. I don't know anything about these things. All I know is what my opinion is. Because it sounds good. It just sounds good. And a lot of other countries have it, so why can't we have it? There, that's my argument. Have there been studies to show what? Yes, there have been studies. They're just very specific cherry-picked studies that political commentators use to argue their points that demonstrate that the United States health outcomes are much worse than most other developed countries. But maybe it's a minute. How about a meta <laughs> a meta analysis of meta analyses? How far are you supposed to go before you say you say you have the definite outcome? If you have a meta analysis which shows that ninety eight seven percent of studies show something, then what kind of a 
consensus do you want? I mean, that's the best consensus you can even get. <laughs> On any issue whatsoever. I Crash 4. Now, I really... You know, I would have liked... The best thing would have been for me to play the game, but obviously I can't. I don't have a PlayStation 4. I'm not buying a PlayStation 4 for the sole purpose of playing one, one game. And I would like to, as an alternative, to watch somebody play the game casually. But I don't know who to watch as there's no... There's no, like, people, there are no Let's Players on YouTube that I am subscribed to that that have played the game. So, I mean, who am I supposed to watch play the game? I'm just really interested in the game. It's just that I can't play it, and I don't know who to watch play the game. So, what am I supposed to do? Just never watch it at all. I mean, I could watch speedruns of it. I kind of want to watch the game play casually first. Or I want to play the game casually myself. If there was a PC version, I would totally buy it. But no, there's no PC version. It's just all comes down to money. Everything comes down to money. If I had unlimited money, I would buy it. But I don't have unlimited money. I actually have enough money to buy a PlayStation and the game. Technically, in my bank account. But it's all going to... Be goodbye when the next semester of college rolls around. So, who cares? Actually, well, yeah, last semester I was able to pay for my tuition. Weirdly enough, I don't know how I ended up with enough money to pay for it, but, but I don't think I would have enough money for next semester, right? How much money do I have now? Well, I, I wrote two sentences. <coughs> Do I still have a cough? That wasn't a fake cough. That was completely involuntary. But it was a weird cough. It's like a dry cough. Isn't that what a COVID cough is? It's a dry cough. Well, I wrote two sentences. It's completely unacceptable. I just got an OLL skip U perm. I wonder what that solve would have been if it was timed. Well, technically it was timed because it was on video, but I don't know if I was solving it as fast as I could I solved it. Like it, uh, and I have one hour left to do these discussions. I have to reply to two people too. Technically, it doesn't say how, how long it was supposed to be. I'm literally just going to post those two sentences. I don't care. <coughs> Is there anything else to say, though? If I think of anything else... No, there's no way I'm going to write anything else. If I post it like as is, there's no way I'm going to be able to motivate myself to write anything else. Like, oh, let's go back to that thing and write some more. Yay! No, that's not going to happen. That's a nice hour. Can I get tested for COVID? And then if I have COVID, I... Actually, they wouldn't. That wouldn't be an excuse to not do homework, but that would be an excuse not to go to work at least. I would like to get tested for COVID, so I can have an excuse not to go to work. That makes me sound very like a very lazy person. Well, I don't want to go to work. So, who wants to go to work anyway?
These are, this is the, oh, I'm gonna, right. I know this is bad, but what's better, writing this or nothing? You tell me. Let's uh, reply to two people. respond to people with there was one guy who was like who was for medicare for all i think he was doing it. he had two like somewhat lefty opinions let's see i don't know it's hard to find it i don't know who to respond to that's i i just did half of the assignment and also the other half my post is so cringe it's only two sentences I could save myself here, dude. I could save myself here. All I have to do is respond to these posts and then study for a million hours to take a test and then study for a million hours to take a, a quiz and a test. No, two quizzes and a test that was due a week and a half ago. And then um, study for a million more hours for the rest of the semester. And for the rest of my life. Actually, no. Not the rest of my life. So, slow down, my buddy. It's only for... Like two or three more years. How is it two or three more years? I've been in school for my entire freaking life and I'm 20 years old. Why can't I just be done with school? Why do you have to go to school till you're like 22? That's like 22 years of school. Okay, I guess you don't go to school for the first five years of your life. Whatever. It'd be nice if I could. Okay, no, obviously you can't go to school when you're like a baby. Yeah, well, um, rent, paid leave, and parental leave laws are good. I don't think we even have paid leave and parental leave in the United States. Maybe some random states have it or something. I don't know. Let's look it up. Does USA have paid leave by law? Unpaid leave. Nice. The United States does not have national standards on paid family or sick leave. <coughs> nice job, US, US of A. Family and sick leave. Yep. I will reply to you. Hannah. Actually, they don't have paid. Uh, 
Aber äh, Paid Vacation. Vox. Close to one in four workers have no time off at all. Well, that's one. Let's go. Wait, what, what things have I had to go to the doctor for since I turned 18? <laughs> have I gone to the doctor for literally anything since I turned 18? Have I had a single checkup? I think I have made, but... It hasn't financially saved me at all. Actually, now that I think about it. What the heck?
I have never had any medical treatment at all whatsoever for the past two years, as far as I can remember. I mean, maybe the dentist. I guess I went to the dentist or something. Wait. I mean, I get a- I- I take a sleeping pill. Sleeping pills, but they're very cheap. I've never experienced any such high drug prices before. I have quantity, and it's only like two bucks per- per bottle. I can't respond by saying it's finished. Bye. I am streaming. Yeah. Well, I technically posted all my posts. Um, can I expand upon my original post? Ooh, I'm doing it, folks. I'm actually doing it. What else do we see? There we go, I expanded from my uh, opinion on that. Now let's go this.
Okay, that's better. Can we pull this off? All I have to do now is write that one discussion post. Oh wait, I have to watch two videos. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do it tomorrow if I do it at all. Goodbye. Wait, let's see if it's actually available till the next day. Yeah, it is. Okay, goodbye.